Good morning, compañeros. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? ¿Todo bien? Hey, how are you, man? Okay. Okay. How are you? Do you hear me nice and clear? Good night, everybody. Hello, hello, people. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. For being here. Hey, everybody, what's going yeah. on? Okay, so let's begin. Thank you, people. It's nice to have you. Let's start it. Let's begin. Hello, hello. Good evening. I hope that it is okay at home. Happy and healthy, right? That's good. Healthy. Yeah. Here, um, let me check the chat. Somebody wrote in the chat. Give me a minute. Nelson. Okay, Nelson. Very good. Thank you so much for letting me know that. I got it. Thank you. Okay, so thank you so much for being here. We're going to have section number four. And that is the one we're going to start. I never have heard of that. Uh, we're going to work with a simple past uh, versus present perfect. Uh, that's the thing we're going to discuss. One of my favorite topics is present perfect because we get confused a lot. That thing is like, um, we get confused very quick when it comes uh, to uh, per present perfect. Yeah, so that's why I love it. Because um, we need to deal with a bunch of verbs, and a bunch of things. Why right? we need to like be sure what is the context we're talking about, right? Okay? So uh, thank you so much for being here. Um, I really appreciate everything. You do. Okay, so thank you so much. Let me see. We just have like 15 already. Okay. Um, as you may know, you can check like in the group, WhatsApp group, there is a person that is always telling you, or oh, you need to finish this section by this time, right? So uh, and if you have a problem or if you have any inconvenience, you can have the chance to get in contact with them. So you can ask them directly. Um, so you don't miss any of these activities and you can present the activities that we have uh, on the website on time. Right? Remember that on the website, on the platform, there are some exercises or some sections that you can you gotta finish like in a certain time. So just don't forget that as well. Okay. Okay. It was something here that I didn't fix it, but my gosh. So 
we have like 20 already. Let's begin taking the attendance. When you hear your name, say present or I'm here. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. Okay, thank you. Um, Camilo? Good night, present teacher. Nice to have you. Ana Beatriz Martinez de Lopez? No, and what about Cesar? Hello, Cesar? No? Okie dokie. Darwin Blanco? Hello, Darwin? No, he isn't. Delmi Amaya Bonilla? Present teacher. Good evening, Delmi. Welcome. Efraín Emilio Acevedo. Efraín? No, he isn't. Stephanie Saray Martinez Avelar. Here, teacher. Thank you so much. Welcome. Good evening. Franklin Magaña López. Franklin Magaña López. No, he isn't. What about Geraldine Tacón? Good evening, present teacher. Wonderful. Nice to hear you again. Kevel Tobar. Kevel Tobar. Ingrid Flores. Here, teacher. Thank you, Ingrid, and welcome. Nice to have you. Irma Segura. Present teacher. Wonderful, and welcome. Nice to have you. Jose. Good evening, teacher. Paquerano. Present <coughs> teacher. Uh, Emilio Broad in the chat, teacher. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Jose Vaquerano, right? And also Jesus. I'm sorry, Jesus. I missed your name. Jesus Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you and welcome, both of you. Thank you so much. Juan Madrid. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome, Catherine Rivera Callejas. Hello, Catherine. No, she isn't. What about Kevin Flores? <clears throat> Kevin? No? Okay. Uh, Lucia? Present teacher. Thank you so much. Welcome and it's nice to have you. Melvin. I think Melvin me escribió en el chat. Yes, Nelson, right. Very good. Ya le voy a tomar licencia, mi Dios. Que me amenaza. Ah, no. Melvin? Hello, Melvin? No? Oh, you're here. Yes? Yes. Perfect, nice to have you again. Daniela Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you, and it's nice to have you. Milagro de la Paz. Milagro de la Paz, Jiménez, Daniela. No, she isn't. Okie Por ahí la vi conectada. Sí, está. Teacher, okay. ahí está okay. Milagro, solo que está con okay. la pantalla yeah. congelada. She's busy, probably, right? She's busy. Thank you so much. Mirna Janet Landos. Good evening, teacher. Present. Thank you, Mirna. Welcome. Nelson, thank you so much. Patricia Garcia Funes. Present, teacher. Thank you, Patricia Funes. Very good. And Patricia Castellanos. I'm here, teacher. Good Wonderful. Evening. Good evening. Welcome. Ronald Alexis. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Roxana Diaz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Sandra Asensio Gonzalez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Sandra Rivas Portillo. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Let me check the chat really quick here on Zoom. Emilio and Ana Beatriz Martinez. Ahorita, give me a minute, okay? Present, teacher. Emilio and also Ana Beatriz Martinez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. I got you. I got your uh, attendance here. Okay, that was wonderful. Okay. Um. Uh, thank you so much again. One more time. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we're gonna work with this one. Simple past versus simple present. Okay. Sandra Asensio. Hello, Sandra. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, young lady? I'm fine. Oh, that's good. Tell me, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is pizza. 
Okay, can you tell me what kind of ingredients do you have there? What kind of ingredients the pizza? Uh huh. Like you get um, pizza is your favorite. What what kind of? Yes, I um, know. flour, pepperoni, cheese, the um cheese, tomato sauce. Okay, wonderful. Sounds delicious, right? Yeah, sounds yeah. delicious. Do you yeah. remember? Not nutritious, right? It's delicious, but not nutritious. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Milagro de la Paz. Okay, nice to see you. Okay, ya le tomé la attendance ahí. Me dijeron que tenía problems with your internet connection. Así que uh, ya le tomé attendance. Okay, Milagro. Así que don't worry. Okay, yes, sir. Thank you. I'm here in Planes de Renderos and my internet connection is not so good here. It's giving me some problems. Oh, yeah. Pero para cobrar son buenos, right? Yeah, that's what it's Yeah, good. you're right. <laughs> thank you. You hear that? Okay. Uh, thank you. Oh, Daniela Carranza. Hello. How are you, Daniela Carranza? Hi, teacher. Okay, tell me, what's your favorite food? Mm. Right now, I think it's pasta. Oh, okay. How, how do you like to cook that? I like to cook. Uh, I put the pasta in boiling water for 10 minutes, approximately. And then I do the sauce. It can be a tomato sauce, the regular sauce, or you can do a Alfredo sauce with milk and cheese you can try so many things with pasta basically there's not just one way to make pasta <laughs> that was delicious right yeah um thank you so much let me see ingrid maricela flores um question for you like um how many seafood do you know how Excuse many me? How many seafood do you know? Like dishes, right? Ah, uh, um, fast food? Oh, no, I mean seafood. Seafood. You got it? Oh, yeah. Three? Exactly. <laughs> um, Solo acuérdese la, like, uh, la niña Yanni, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Los swim. Swim. The um, conchas, shell, shell, shell. <laughs> um, octopus. Okay, octopus. Yeah. Yeah. And the famous and one, fish. Right, there is a famous one. This is fish. Okay, <laughs> that's very <laughs> famous. Okay. What about la mariscada? Right, you remember la niña Yanni? Right, she was. She was having a mariscada with a, a drink, okay? It's delicious. <laughs> yeah, delicious. And that's nutritious, right? Don't have that nutritious, yeah? Yeah, okay. delicious and nutritious. Thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, before we get into the main content, which is a good passing, present perfect, we're going to discuss a little bit related to uh, dishes, right? We have traditional dishes from around the world, okay? We have some places here. Yes. Do you see the countries that we have here in these pictures? Uh, Geraldine, can you name the, the countries, please? Oh, say, say the countries, Geraldine, please. South Korea. Singapore. Brazil. Okay. Oh. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. So here we have these like countries, right? And um we have some dishes, traditional dishes that they um usually have over there. Okay. Don't ask me about the pronunciation of the dishes because those are like I have no idea how to pronounce these ones, okay? Okay. Um but let's have some information about what are the sun like ingredients that we can have, right? Some of them. Let's begin with you, uh, Camille. Please tell me the uh, ingredients that we have with 
Kevet Lebanet, if that's the pronunciation. Uh, uh, Camilo, your bike is off. Sorry. Okay. Kevin Lebanon is from Lebanon. They cook with, they use lamb or beef meatballs, cooking yogurt with spices. Thank you. Continue, please. Carry on with the Korea dish. Me? Oh, yes, Camilo, please. Okay. Carry on. The next dish is from South Korea. Call it galbi. Made it with Korean style barbecue meal. Meat. Barbecue meat. Okay, very good. Yes, the third one. Singapore, thank you. The Sing Sing the third one is from Singapore. They call gulai kepala ikan. Made a dish, a dish made from a fish. Head cooked in rich curry sauce. <clears throat> and the last one is from Brazil. Please. Moqueca. Moqueca. Made it with fish and shellfish stew. Cooking coconut milk in a clay pot. Thank you so much. Very good. Right? Do you remember, like, one of your classmates, she was talking about pasta and she was describing. By the ingredients and also the process. That was very good, Daniel. Okay. That was very good. Okay. So here we have these dishes for these countries, right? I uh, have like which dishes, which dishes are made with meat. Okay, let's identify that one really quick. Sarai Martinez, which dishes are made with meat? Mm. The first one. In the second one. Okay. And what about with uh, the dishes that we have with fish? Um, at uh, Singapore and Brazil. Exactly, right? Thank you so much. Then another question that is going to be for you, what is uh, Juan Madrid? Have you ever tried any of these dishes? Um, um, really, I I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like I I, I see the, the 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 food and um and I I don't I don't watch a delicious the the form the presentation the presentation. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. Which ones would you like to try, Juan David? Um yeah. I I I reach um uh, South Korea Korea South South uh, Korea Gaudi. yeah South Korea so South Korea Korea and uh, why um it's meat it's meat <laughs> it's because we have this, this barbecue thing right. Yes. Everything that goes with barbecue is delicious. Yes. Yes. I I I I think I think I sign is 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 the the food the the San Korean saint. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. It looks delicious, right? It looks delicious, like right. Just just be ready with your stomach, right? So you can have an alcacelter over there, so you can like. Be ready. Yeah. <laughs> because whenever you travel to another country and you try food from there, uh, sometimes like our stomach um, is not getting it. It's not getting it. The pupusas in Inguanopeta, they come. What about the last one, uh, Geraldine? What traditional foods are popular here in our country? In El Salvador, is traditional tamales, mm -hmm. atolchuco, oh, yeah. atol de lor. Oh, yes. That, that's true. That's true. That's, that's very good. But one big, let's say, like that nobody can miss. Uh, what is that? 
dish that you can say, oh, this one, please don't miss that one because this one is amazing, right? What is that dish that is very popular here in El Salvador? Pupusas. Pupusas. Pupusas, right? Exactly. Pupusas, that's, yeah. That's, what is another dish? With what is what about soups? Do we have soups? What is one famous soup that we have? Mm -hmm. Roast beef and the grill. Sopita de pata. <laughs> Sopita de pata, right? Very good. <laughs> that one. Sopita de res also is another one. But sopa de pata is is on how. Yes, sopa de gallina India as well, right? Yes. Chorizo with that? eggs. Roast beef. Roast beef. Oh, oh, yeah. That's true. That's true. So sopita de gallina India, and I think uh, sopa de pata is a is a big dish that here in El Salvador you can recommend when somebody visit our country. Like I know pupusas, everybody recommend pupusas. Well, let's have pupusas. But these dishes like sopitas, right? Like sopa de gallina India, and also uh, sopa de pata. Those are the big ones for me. Yeah, because it's a process, not something easy to do, right? So you need to have a bunch of ingredients. And, mm -hmm. and um, si la señora, right? Yes, si la señora es un poquito shabby, yes, es porque la sopa va a quedar delicious. Yes. Oh my God. Delicious. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the key. Yeah, that's the key, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you so much for uh, answering these questions. Very good. We're going to have this quick conversation here. Ana Beatriz Martinez, can you do me a favor? Describe the picture, please. Thank you. The, uh, I forgot mesero teacher. Me, me, uh, waiter. 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 Como la canción de Linkin Park. Yes. Waiter. Wait. Okay, waiter. Okay. Uh, he take the, the, <laughs> the order. order, the order, the order. Thank you, <laughs> uh, classmate. Um, <laughs> he take the the order, and he wait. He waiting for uh, for them to choose how can uh, want to to eat. <laughs> Okay, very good. Okay, where is this? What is this picture? Or, or like basically, where are they pretty much? Excuse me, excuse me, teacher. In esta cuestión, hay una pregunta que quizá es bien polite, pero en en español podría ser así. El el mesero le está tomando la orden ahí a un par de negritos, ¿verdad? En English. That was racist. That was racist. Yeah. African American said the yes. teacher last year. African class. Americans, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Be be nice. Remember, be nice. Always, always be nice. Okay. Uh huh. Juan. Uh huh. Eso era. Eso era lo de place. Yes. yes. That, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Be nice. You're African American people. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you call that don't call it like that because they they get mad and 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 and. It's like when um, Salvadorians get called like Guatemalan, right? Or Honduran people, like we get offended, right? Or, or we can share the same, let's say, um, I don't know, racial faces or, or, or like things like that. But but at the end, we get offended. Though. So they, they really get offended if they call, if you call them like that. Thank you. Okay, so Anna, one more time, back to you. Where are they? Uh, they are in the restaurant. Oh yes, in a restaurant, right? How do they look like? Uh, happy. They uh, look happy. Okay. What are they wearing? Uh, they wearing for shoes. Uh, uh. No. Uh, what What are they wearing? Wearing. Ah, uh, they were wearing. Okay. Uh, she she's wearing a sweater. You know. Uh, and and he wear a t shirt. No, a shirt with a chaleco. Okay. Think, think. What, what, what kind of let's say meal are they having? What kind? Oh, meal are they having? 
uh, maybe <laughs> maybe they wants to eat uh, uh meat. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we have or, breakfast. That's the main Oh, okay. okay. I I I didn't understand your answer, your question. Right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay. I, I think and so. Chicken? I think so. Uh, dinner, probably right. Probably, probably okay. because I because I I I can see uh lights. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Thank you so much. So I'm gonna play the audio three times, so you listen and check pronunciation, and then we will practice in the break rooms. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Unit 4. Have you ever tried it? Page 22. Exercise 2. Conversation. I've never heard of that. Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, this sounds strange. Frog legs with butter and garlic sauce. Have you ever eaten frog legs? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. I'm a little scared of them. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I'll have a small order of frog legs, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the snails. Snails? That's adventurous of you. Unit 4. Have you ever tried it? Page 22. Exercise 2. Conversation. I've never heard of that. Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, this sounds strange. Frog legs with butter and garlic sauce. Have you ever eaten frog legs? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. I'm a little scared of them. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I'll have a small order of frog legs, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the snails. Snails? That's adventurous of you. Unit 4. Have you ever tried it? Page 22. Exercise 2. Conversation. I've never heard of that. Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, this sounds strange. Frog legs with butter and garlic sauce. Have you ever eaten frog legs? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. I'm a little scared of them. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I'll have a small order of frog legs, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the snails. Snails? That's adventurous of you. Oh, thank you so much. So here we have this beautiful conversation between these two, or three, right? Ronald Alexis, uh, what is this conversation about, please? It's about the ordering meal and the decision that uh, what can or uh, what want uh, uh, the people in, in, in the restaurant. Very good. Sarai, thank you so much. Sarai, question for you. What is the dish we're talking about here in this conversation? Um, about frog legs with butter and garlic sauce. Oh, very good. And what do you think about it? Sounds delicious? <laughs> no, no. Absolutely not, right? <laughs> no. Okay, okay. What kind of food is this one? Meat, seafood? Hmm. No, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So take a screenshot of this one, please. So uh, I will open the breakout rooms like for five minutes or six. So you can get with your partners and practice a little bit this conversation. Okay? Yes? 
So save the picture, save the picture for you so you can have it. And I will open the breakout rooms for you to practice. Paste there, okay? I will open groups of two and also a, a pairs, okay? In case somebody is missing um, the audio here. Yes? Ready? Wonderful. Give me a minute, please. Okay, here we go. Okay, two. Okay, yes, this one. Let me check the time. Okay, okay, okay. And then 10 seconds. Okay. In the main room, I will have Camilo Rivera, Daniela Carranza, and Mirna Landos Martinez. You three stay here in the main room. So don't get in the breaker rooms. Okay, one more time. Camilo Rivera, eh, Daniela Carranza Valencia, and Mirna Janet Landos. Okay. The rest of you, please join your classmates so you can practice uh, this a conversation. Okay. Here we go. So please, uh, Melvin and Ronald, uh, Delmi and Jose, very good. Please join. Juan David, Patricia, also Sarai. Roxana, Okiroki, Roxana, please join. Very good. Okay. Emilio, oh, Sandra. Emilio, creo que me dijo. Okay. Thank you. Sandra, please. Very good. Okay. Yes. I think, thank you so much. So, um, so Emilio, Camilo, and Daniela, and Mirna, this is time for you to practice. So you can practice anytime. Okay. Ahí está, sí, ya puedo verlo. Eh, seré Hayden y usted, Bailey. Ah. Está más ahí, ¿verdad? Para que seamos sí. los tres. Eh, Hola. No le escucho bien, Jerry. ¿Me puede repetir? Escucha, por favor. Hay otra persona. ¿Pero? Sí, hay otra persona más para que sea la tercera persona. <risa> no, el teacher. Ah, teacher. Ah, no. ah pues si quiere. Entonces, sí, entonces si gusta yo soy Aiden. Vaya, ya está bien. Ah, está bien. Hey, this song strange. Frog legs with butter and garlic sauce. Have you ever eaten frog legs? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like? Did you like? Yes, them? I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. I am a little scared of them. How do this um, decide? How do uh, so you how you decide? <laughs> ah, usted va, perdón. <laughs> no, no problem. Have you decided on a price yet? Yeah. Eh, le toca a usted o a mí. No, no porque yo, yo soy. Ajá, Claire. Okay, uh, yo soy Claire. Entonces, you need just all have a small order of frog legs, please. Usted me contesta. And you see, I think you have the snails. Snails, that's a venture of you. Okay. Ahora soy Aiden. Bye. Empieza entonces. Hey, these son strong frog legs with butter and garlic sauce. Have you ever eaten, eaten frog legs? Yes, I have. I have them there just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? 
No, I don't think so. I am little scared of them. Have you decided on a petersel yet? Yes, all have a small order of frog legs, please. And you, sir? I think all uh, I think all have the snails. Snails. That adventure of you. Perfect. Come on. Great job. So we have a few mistakes. Very good. For example, uh, hey, this sounds strange. Frog legs with butter, butter, butter. and garlic sauce. Garlic sauce. Garlic have, sauce. Garlic have, sauce. You, have you ever eaten frog legs? Have you ever eaten frog legs? Have you ever eaten? <laughs> Eating, eating. Have you ever, have eaten? you ever eaten frog legs? Yes, very good. Have you ever eating? Yes. Frog legs? Appetizer. 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 Yes. Okay. Appetizer. ¿Dónde va? ¿Dónde va, teacher? Voy perdido acá. Okay, here. Ah, appetizer. 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 Yes. Um, adventurous and um, la última adventure of what you. Is, what is an appetizer, Sandra? Uh, apetito. Uh, no. When you go to a restaurant, sometimes we have appetizer, right? A que me apetece? Mm, um, no, like I'm giving you the context. Like, for example, when I go to, uh, let's say, when I go to a, a, a restaurant, right, for example, right, here comes the waiter. This is the waiter, right? And the waiter comes to me and he tries to take the order. And, and he takes the food, right? He takes my order. And he says, have you decided on, on an appetizer? An appetizer is, is the kind of, a, let's say, a small food that we can have before we get the main food. Do you understand? Yes, very good, Geraldine. Mm -hmm. mm. So an appetizer is, is a, like a small, I don't know, pot of food uh, that we have before we get the main, the, the big meal, let's say, right? Or the big dish. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. So that's an appetizer. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Nice. That's about... Keep working like that. Keep practicing. Very good. This meeting is being recorded. Hello. 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 Hello, sir. <laughs> hello, teacher. <laughs> nice to have you one more time. Welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Me yeah, and Fernando. Sir, who catches a lot? Oh, nice to meet you, Miranda. Very nice to see your face. Look at that. Hi. People, right? I have a question for you, Mirna. What is the meaning of appetizer? What is an appetizer? Oh, dice la misma cosa todavía. Ser un poquito más fluida con las palabras. Okay, no problem. Okay, aquí le vamos a ayudar a everybody, right? Acuérdense. Okay. We are learning, right? Si no importa si se equivoca mil veces, it doesn't matter, ¿ok? Sigue intentando, always intente, always, ¿ok? ¿Sí? Always, siempre. Exactly, ¿ya? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Entonces, yes. uh, motives, right? Escuchas a your partners, right? The way they do it, so you can get motivated on that, ¿ok? Practique, así como le digo, en su casa, right? A, moleste a sus compañeros, right? a, perdón, a, a su familia, ahí. Practique las frases with your family, ¿ok? Yes. Okay. Um, and, and siga, siga adelante. Okay, Mirna. Yes. Okay. It's not easy. It's not easy. I know, but with practice, you can overcome everything. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Okay. Jose, thank you. Teacher, uh, appetizer is like uh, something that I would like to eat. 
yes. before the main dish. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Right. Yes. It's a, a small dish. A small it's a dish. Waste. A small dish, Before, las entradas, yes. right? Exactly, right? Le llevan a soda antes que come. So you pay twice. So you pay twice, right? I'll give me another glass of soda. So, so yes, because we are healthy, right, Camilo? So we, we are mentioning soda. Yeah, okay? Yes? So we are... Okay, forget about it, okay? I'm sorry for that. We're going to have the video about the grammar content. Okay, so let's take a look. Thank you so much for your participation on this one. Great job. Okay. Unit four. Let's listen and watch. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past. And you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on given more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question, right? Such as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried them last month. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom. It's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now, the question is related to uh, the example that you see there. I tried them last month. And the next question will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is, yes, I did. And then you give more information. They were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect, and then you continue on and, and you give either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. 
now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use have whenever I talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, their person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. Let me do that at this time. In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has, as I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they, and we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have, um, and then this follows the subject, then this follows the word ever, and then the verb in its past participle form, and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? And by the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb, so sometimes you can remove it, um, and um, the question will still be correct. But in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response, such as, yes, I have, or this could be a negative response, such as, no, I haven't. And so just so that we can see clearly what's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time. All right, there we go. So have you ever eaten snails? And it's the same thing um, for our next question. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? So let's do that one as well. So I'm going to use have. This follows the subject. And then we're using the word ever. So we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form. And then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question, either yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And then this next sentence, we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement. And the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my experience in the past. So in this case, I'm going to say I tried them last month. So this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had, which is related to this topic, right? So have you ever eaten snails? And my, my answer to that question is, yes, I have. I tried them last month, so I, I'm using the simple past. And um, now, the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now, all of the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. I tried them last month. So you want more information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see, the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is, no, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both the present perfect and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past, continue in the present. And then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. 
so let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever tried sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say yes, I have. And so tell me about that experience, okay? So if you're going to tell me about that experience, then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past. So how would you tell me about that past experience? Well, have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I um, ate sushi last month. Oh, sorry. I ate sushi last month. Oh, really? And then whenever you start talking about that past experience, the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past. Did you like did you like it? Now, how would you respond to that? Well, you can you can respond to that by answering yes, I did or no, I didn't. I thought it was great. Or, I didn't like it. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten exotic food? Um, as you answer these questions, what I would like for you to do is to answer the question with either yes, I have, and then I want you to tell me that past experience. So similar to the examples that we see on the chart, let's say the question is, have you ever eaten Mexican food? And let's say that your answer is, yes, I have. Then you will tell me where and how did you like it? So as you can see, what I'm trying to get to is that you give me your response and then you give me information about that particular past event. And that's what I would like for you to do for all of those questions there. So then we have the explanation about this grammar point. Okay, so pretty much, as you may see, it's like a combination of these two things, right? Simple past and simple present to talk about events, okay? Something that we tried already and how, how it was good or it wasn't good. Yeah, so we combine the two tenses together so we can uh, talk about this thing, right? Uh, use the simple past, not the present perfect when you say, when an event ended, I had sushi last night. Okay, so again, right? So uh, we combine these two um, uh, tenses so we can um, talk about the things that we tried. Okay, L let's have a little bit of practice on this conversation. Okay, to complete the conversation, choose the best form. We have two options. If you notice in parentheses, we have two options. Do you have? Have you had? Okay, so. What is in number one? You have. Did you have? Did you have? Okay. Thank you so much. Did you, Did you have? have? Okay. Thank you. What was uh, uh, the next one? I. I have tried. Okay. Very good. Yes. Past tense, right? Very good. I try to rest for the first time. What is the next one? What's the next one? Uh, did, did you, you ever, ever have? Do you ever have? Have you ever had? Very good. Present perfect. Have. Oh my God. Sorry. Stop it on it. Have you ever had? Yes. Have you ever had it? Have you ever had it? A, a friend, a friend and I ate him. Okay. Ate, very good. Mm -hmm. At an Indian restaurant just last week, I or it? An Indian. What is it? Uh, present perfect or past simple? 
Was. Was simple. Oh, perfect. Was it was. Was the list is right. Thank you. This is where we number two. Just was. Present perfect or was. past simple? Have you ever? Okay, very good. Have. Oh, sorry. Have, have, you, have ever. you. Oh, Jesus. Have you ever taken? Taken. Have you ever taken? Very good. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Oh, very good. Present perfect. No, I haven't. Very good. No, I haven't. Present, very, very good. No, I haven't. How about you? I haven't. I took a few classes. Fuzzy? I took. Uh -huh. My last class. I have I a take. I have I a take. I have a take. Okay, so present. I'm oh, sorry. Simple past or present perfect? Present perfect. I have taken. That is correct. Have taken. Why have taken? Because because of the context that we have in the next one. Yes. My last. Class. I haven't taken class. My last class was was. In was. This Okay. Was, was in December. Was when? in December. We have learned how to make some wonderful Spanish dishes. We, we have learned. We have learned. Have learned. So past tense <clears throat> or present perfect? We have learned. It's a person. We have learned. Present perfect. Okay. Okay. Hmm. It's past teacher. It's past. Yeah, it's past. We learn. Yes. Why? Oh, because it's like um, it's something that that you get like if you go to a class, go to a class, right? They teach you something like a little, right? And, and you and you get it from there. I have. I touch it and can show. Yes. Um. Thank you. Let's work with number three. What is the number three? Past tense or, or, or I watched. I watched. Excuse me? I wash it. Wash it. Okay. Washed. 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 Oh washed. I watched a great cookie. Okay, I washed. Yeah. A great cooking show on TV. I really? really? I never saw a cooking. I never saw. I, I, I never. I have never seen. I okay. have never seen. I have never. Present perfect. I, I never. Never seen. Present perfect. I'm sorry. I have. I'm sorry. I forgot. I have I never have seen. I have never seen. seen. Uh -huh. Show. So. Was it boring? Was. Very good. What? Was said. Okay. Acuérdese. Mire el verb to be. Come on, Dagi. Was it boring? Oh my gosh. Okay. Was no, it boring? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Oh my gosh. Was it? Okay. It was very interesting. It was. Yes, it was, it was very interesting. Was. That's why that's why I love present perfect because this thing like get us lost, believe me. This thing is 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 not a piece of cake. El present perfect is not no, a I'm, piece of cake. I'm, okay, past simple, maybe. Okay, because the context is just in the past. But the present perfect, we need to be careful with those. Okay. Okay, so um don't why forget the the context on that, the context of, of present perfect, okay? This is like an action that we started in the past and sort of how uh, we got some experience about it. Okay? But the past is just the past, so that's, that's easier to remember. And also, a quick thing, este verb here, learned, yo lo aprendí cuando estaba aprendiendo inglés, lo aprendí con, con la T, con la T, que es irregular. Entonces, all the time, I was thinking, no, el verbo learn, <laughs> Es irregular. Eso tenía en mind. Hasta que alguien me dijo, no, mister, learn lleva a veces 
lleva también ed. Entonces, just be careful with that, right? A veces son verbs, we can have regular and irregular form. People, it's time to go to bed. Thank you so much for being here. Good night. Take care. Remember, be nice, right, Juan? Everybody. Be nice. Always, always. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.